Oh, hello. Welcome to the course of Inventor 2014 Montes. In this course, you will learn resources, tools and techniques to create and work with part sets in Inventor. The course was developed using Inventor 2014, in its Portuguese version. Inventor 2014 users, in English, can install the language pack to follow the course. It is downloaded through this Autodesk page. Those using 2013 or 2012 versions will also be able to take the course without any problem. Regardless of the version you use, we guarantee you can follow the course. Check out the tips in this lesson to learn more about this topic. We divided the study into three modules which, in turn, are divided into classes, practical examples and complementary exercises. Before watching the video of a lesson, you should read the tips and check for download files. After that, as you watch the videos, you should work with Inventor, as explained in classes and practical examples. In this way, you will assimilate the concepts, and then have conditions to apply them alone to the complementary exercises. Following these procedures guarantees the student an excellent use of the course. The classes are started directly in the software to make them more practical. In this first module, we will learn how to create assemblies. We'll start by introducing some features and tips to improve productivity when working with Inventor. Next, we will learn how to use the restrict command to positioning the pieces in the assembly. In the following classes, we will see a novelty of the 2014 version, the Junta command. We will also look at how to create new parts directly in the assembly environment. We will apply these commands in the practical example, in which we will perform the assembly of a V8 engine. We will complete the module with two complementary exercises for you to apply what has been studied. In the second module, in turn, we will learn resources and commands for editing assemblies. We will see how to move, rotate and join components. We will also study part operations and assembly operations, learning what they are used for and what the difference is between them. Soon after, we will apply these concepts in a practical example. We will continue to study various commands for editing assemblies. The default command, to copy components in a standardized manner. The symmetry command, to generate the mirroring of pieces of the assembly. Also, the replace command, with which we will learn how to replace assembly parts without losing their positioning relationships and functionality in the assembly. At the end of the module, we offer two additional exercises so that you can practice well the knowledge you have acquired.
In the last module, we will explore additional features that are very useful in everyday work with assemblies. We will learn to create position representations. And also the level of detail representations. We will see what distinctions between them and the importance of using them in the project. Next, we will see how to create an exploded projection of an assembly, which is very important, since it is used both in the detail sheet. For ballooning and identification of the parts, as well as in the assembly instructions, and also to create animations and presentations of the project. We'll still look at some essential features for creating weld cord operations in assemblies. Finally, we'll learn how to save the project with the package files feature, which ensures that all parts, references and primarily, the standardized library components are collected and saved in the same location to be shipped and used on other computers. At the end, we provide more exercises for you to practice all the content covered in the course. This way, after completing this course, you will be able to perform complete assemblies in Inventor. So, what are you waiting for? Join the students of Rander. Have an exciting learning. Stand out as an excellent professional in the field. And show more of this skill to the market. Rendering, WHO knows teaches.